Hi, I'm Brad Washburn, and today I'm going to show you some basics of Adobe Flash. I've been a graphic designer and a web designer for several years, and I've seen several versions of Flash, but the one we're going to use today is Flash CS5. Now, to ease you into using Flash, the first thing I want to do is create a bouncing ball. And so what I need to do, I've already got Flash open, so I need to create a new document. Now, I've got several different options here that I could choose of different types of documents. But the one I want to choose is this one, the ActionScript 3.0. It's just the basic Flash document, and 3.0 is the ActionScript version for Flash CS5. So that's the one I'm choosing. Now I've got my document open, and up here is my timeline. Now I want to create two layers there, and I'll explain why I need the other layer later. On the first layer, layer one, I want to create the actual ball. So to do that, I need to create a circle. Now there's a a tool called the Oval Tool, if you go over to the Tools palette, it's right underneath the Rectangle Tool, or there's also a shortcut, which is O. And that changes to my Oval Tool. Then I hold down Shift to make a perfect circle. If I didn't hold down Shift, then it would make an actual oval. So there's our ball. And I don't think I want it black. I think I want to make this a red ball. So let's select that. To change the color, you have to have it selected. Now I can change the color right down here, the Fill Color. Or I can go to the color palette, which there's a little button for that right here. Or there's also a keyboard shortcut, which on the Mac is Command-Shift-F9. If you're using Windows, it's just Shift-F9. Now I make sure I got my fill here, and I'm going to choose red. And I'll leave that a solid color. I could also change it to a gradient if I wanted. Um, but I want to work with a solid color for now. So let's click this button to close that palette. Now I've got my ball. And I need to change it to a symbol, because to animate this, I need it to be a symbol. So there's two ways I can do that. I can, do, I can go to the Modify menu and choose Convert to Symbol, or I can just hit F8, which is the keyboard shortcut. So let's do that. And we'll name this Ball. And there we have it. We have our ball. Now we need to decide how we want to animate this. So remember that second layer I created? Let's go up to that, and we're going to create a path for this ball. Um, it's called a guide path. So the first thing we need to do is right click on this layer and make it a guide layer. And then we're going to go to our line tool to create the path. And there's a keyboard shortcut for that. The line tool is right here, but the shortcut is N. And now we just draw our path. And we'll make the ball bounce, and it'll get just a little bit lower each bounce, just for fun because that's kind of how balls bounce. So there's our path. Now, I don't really like it to have just straight, straight bounces, so I'm going to adjust the path just a little bit. So I go up to the Selection tool, which there's also a keyboard shortcut. You can see there it's V. And I just click right here and drag, and I can deform it any way I want to. So I'm just going to deform these just a little bit just so it's a little bit curvy here. And there we go. And that's our path. Now I need to take this layer with the ball on, and I need to actually link it to this guide layer. So you just drag it, and when it gets so it looks like this with the little circle, then it's linked to it. See, when it's like that, it's not linked. But when it's like that, then it's linked. So now, I need to extend the timeline out so we can actually do the animation. So we'll go over to about frame 50, and we need to insert a new keyframe there. And there's a couple ways we can do that. We can go to Modify, or I'm sorry, we can go to Insert, Timeline, Frame, and that'll put a new frame in there. Or we can just hit F5, which is the keyboard shortcut. Now down on the ball layer, I want an actual keyframe. And so I can either go up to Insert, and then insert a keyframe, or I can right click and do insert keyframe. Now this will be the last frame of our animation, and so I'll want to move this to the end and snap it onto the path at the end of our animation. And then we'll go back to the first keyframe and we'll move the ball up to the beginning of the path and snap it onto the path. Now we need to create the actual animation, and the way we do this is with a tween. Now, some of you may never have heard of tweens. What a tween is, is in traditional animation, 
there will be a lead animator that will draw the keyframes, which would be the first one here and the end one here. And then there will be, there's normally a set of, of lesser animators, I guess you could call them, that draw all the in-between frames. And those are, that's why it's called tweening, is because they're in-between frames. But we don't, if we were doing traditional animation, we'd have to draw all those. But in Flash, Flash will do those for us. So we can either go to the Insert menu and insert a classic tween, or we can right-click on this and do Create Classic Tween. And that's all we need to do to animate our ball. We just hit Enter, and you can see it moving. Now, if we want to see this without the guide layer, then you hit Control-Enter, and that'll open it in another window, or command enter if you're on Mac like I am. And there we go, there's our animation. And it'll just keep playing over and over again until we stop it. So there we go. Thank you for watching and keep your eyes open for more exposure to Flash.